Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, two wines from Domaine de Viranel uh, in southern France, in Cessinon. Uh, and um, so different blends. Um, are, are they the same vintage? No. Uh, first one's 2014, second one's is 13. But the 2014 is a trilogy, and I think it's called trilogy because it's those... Uh, uh, GSM, uh, Grenache, Syrah, Mourvedre. Uh, I think Grenache, Syrah, Mourvedre. If it's not, I'll uh, uh, slap myself on the wrist and uh, point out on the screen what they are. Um, uh, anyway, I'll dig in. Uh, trilogy, anyway. Well, this smells fun. Um, it smells like it's going to be um, quite uh, dense in flavour, uh, but fresh with it. So there's herbs, there's dark fruit, red berries, dark berries, plums of both colours, and um, spiced freshness herbs as well. Yeah, a bit of vanilla, I think, uh, the, there's uh, the vanilla character coming through from a uh, little bit of oak there. Um, but then this plush fruit, uh, and it, but it's not so plush that it's gone into the overripe uh, character. There's this freshness about it, and um, it, it seems like there's a syrup uh, chipping in here with a little bit of orange peel and feisty spice. Um, and uh, it, yeah, it feels young, vigorous, like almost like a, a cult of a wine. It, it feels like it needs breaking in. At the moment, it's um, it's got a few elbows about it, but it feels like it's it's going to be worth uh, wait, waiting not too long. It's uh, just just a few months for it to calm down into its uh, into its bottle. I mean, this is 2014, so uh, it can't have been bottled all that long ago. But um, and this is when I find out that it hasn't been in a barrel at all. But and that vanilla's from uh, uh, from something. Uh, that's soil or grape related, but it, it tastes good. It, um, uh, but it tastes promising as well. Uh, so it, I, if you can uh, save it for your barbecues of summer or for your, um, yeah, I, I think about wines I want to drink on bonfire night around that time of year. This is, this is young, vigorous and uh, um, yeah, a darn good. This is the sort of wine that you want to put into the hands of people who've grown up on Argentinian Malbec and uh, Australian Shiraz and say, look, France can do it. France can do it with a different accent and uh, try this instead. We like. Second one. Um, so, Aroma Sauvage. Um, and this is all made from uh, the Alicante Boucher grape, uh, which, if you're not familiar with it, it's what's called a Tenturier, uh, which means that most grapes, when you pick them, Cabernet Sauvignon, Syrah, Merlot, you peel the skin off, if you can be bothered, and the flesh inside is pale. But Alicante Boucher has got dark flesh. So, it was traditionally used in southern France for boosting the colours, uh, colour of more anemic brews, but... Um, there's a few people thinking, well, actually, if we put a little bit of effort into it, uh, let's see what we can uh, come up with. Portugal's doing a, quite a good job with Alicante Boucher, but uh, France, France sort of dismissed it. There's a few people now seeing what they can do with it. Let's see whether this is one of them. Has what I call a Central European earthiness. I know we're not in Central Europe, Europe here, but uh, there are grapes, things like uh, Rafosco um, and um, Saparavi that have this almost uh, beetroot, T tomato like vegetal character about them it smells like it's going to be deep dense uh, plummy berry uh, but um, feisty quite an edge of tan in there and almost a pumice like mineral character um, and this this vegetal the beetroot the tomato flits in and out the berries flit in and out the character I'm left with is something that makes me think interesting rather than woo. The previous one was that really had me going, I, I really like this. Here, I find it, yes, one of those wines I want to share a bottle of with a lot of people rather than hog to myself at my end of the table. So, yeah, good, but not as fine as the first one. But interesting. I mean, I, I want wine to be interesting and uh, that ticks the interesting box. But the first one ticks the I'm going to have a glass of this now box. See you soon.